Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 25th of 2020, well, it is titled Dark Matter in a Simulated Universe. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image from a computer simulation that looks at the distribution of matter within the universe. Now, what we see here, the dark filaments are the dark matter. So how the dark matter spreads out throughout the universe and the orange clumps are the actual ordinary matter. That's the stuff that we're used to seeing every day. And that includes all the stars and galaxies and nebulae and a lot of the pictures that we look at here from day to day and week to week on the website. Now, what we note is that there is far more dark matter than there is ordinary matter. And dark matter is not like anything else we're used to. The dark matter has to be something completely different than the ordinary matter. So it can't be made up of stars or galaxies or even um, odder things like black holes. The matter has to be something that is completely different, some mysterious type of matter. Now, how do we know that this must exist? Well, there are several things. And some of the ways that it was first found was the ways way galaxies rotate. Galaxies rotate far too fast for the amount of matter that we can see in them. So there has to be far more matter in galaxies spread around the galaxy, not just within it, but all around the galaxy in a great halo to explain why they rotate that quickly. Galaxy clusters shouldn't exist based on the material that we see a cluster of galaxies, the, the galaxies are moving too fast and they would eventually disperse out into space. And the cluster would not exist unless there was some unusual sort of matter there some additional matter to give gravity to hold that together. When we look at the bending of light by matter, it's always a bit stronger than we expect. And we attribute that to dark matter as well. And when we also look at the distributions of matter, why is the matter clumped the way it is now? And on the very earliest times, it requires dark matter in order for us to have formed the structures that we see today in the limited amount of time that has existed. If there were no dark matter right now, our models would not be able to explain the structures that we see in the universe today. So what we use is dark matter as a way of being able to explain all of these observations. These are things that we see and need to be explained It cannot be explained by the models that we have without dark matter. We cannot explain why galaxies rotate the way they do, why galaxy clusters orbit orbit the way they do and why gravitational lenses work the way they do. So we would we need this dark matter in order to be able to explain this. And our image here from the simulation gives us an idea of what that might look like and how most of the universe, the vast majority is composed of this dark matter. And only a tiny fraction is the ordinary matter that we look at in terms of stars, planets, galaxies and other material. So that was our picture of the day for October the 25th of 2020. It was titled Dark Matter in a Simulated Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be spooky space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.